I was teaching in a French lycée and I had been able to organize a, an exchange with an American school okay. where um, our students went there for two weeks and then the Americans came to us for two weeks. And we, we did this one year in uh, one school and the following year, the, the teacher that we'd done it with couldn't continue and I had to find somebody else. And a, a friend of mine in the States just started calling up every school in the area. <laughs> and, and she finally found a, a, a man who taught French who was interested in the exchange. And so we, we worked it out with him. And I didn't go to him, uh, another teacher did. And uh, when the students came back, I asked them about what they'd seen in the States and, you know, and how did this teacher teach French? Because they sat in on his classes. And, and they said, well, he doesn't, he doesn't teach. He just talks mm. with the students. He just chats with them about what they did on the weekend <laughs> and so on. And I thought that was rather surprising. Yeah. And, and then this teacher came with his students to, to our school. And one of his students came into my advanced English class. And these were very good students. They were very serious students. And they were students who had actually chosen to do extra English because they, they liked it. And they were going to have an oral interview instead of a written exam for as the way most French students did. Mm -hmm. And, and so th these were my star pupils. And this, this boy, American boy came into the class and, and I said, well, just chat, you know, just get to know each other. And so they started asking each other questions and so on. And I had expected the conversation to be in English because I knew my students wanted to speak English. And it wasn't, it was in the French. And for a good part of an hour, this American boy carried on a conversation with my star students in French. French uh -huh. And so I was very impressed by his level and his ability to, to have a conversation like that and, and to explain, you know, they were asking about what they did and what they liked and so on. And he was able to answer their questions and explain things. Right. And so later I saw his teacher and I said, well, he's really, really good, this boy that came into my class. And I said, he must be a brilliant student. Well, first I asked, how long has he been studying French? And, and the teacher said, well, this is his second year. Mm. And my students had had at least six years <laughs> of English. English. Mm -hmm. and, and so I said, well, he's brilliant. You know, he, he, he must be a star student. And the teacher said, well, actually, he's failing everything but French. Mm. So interesting. And, and, and so then I said, how do you teach? Wow. <laughs> because if he could produce that in two years, you know, he was doing something right. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's when he, he started talking to me about TPRS. And I asked him to demonstrate it with my class. And, and he did, he, with one of my classes, he got them telling a story about a blue elephant. And, and I thought, oh no, <laughs> this won't do, this, this will never go, go over in France. <laughs> and, and, but, I, but I was still curious. And so that summer I went on holiday to the United States and I was able to, to find a TPRS workshop. Mm -hmm which was three days, I think. And the, the lady, it, lady doing the, the workshop was teaching uh, Swedish. Mm -hmm. So she, she would give us a Swedish lesson using TPRS. And then she would talk to us in English about what she was doing. And, and then she'd give us a little bit more lesson and then discuss it and so on and explain and 
and told us about crash and, and so on. And at the end of three days, she gave us, well, let's see, what did she do? She told us a story in Swedish uh, about, it was completely different from everything else we heard. It was a brand new story. And then she asked us comprehension questions and we were all able to answer the comprehension questions. Right, with yes, no, and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And then she gave us a text, which again was, it was about a subject that we had not used during the lessons. Okay. Uh, it was about the influence of Swedish culture in Minnesota. <laughs> and we had not talked about that at all. And we were able to read the, the, the text, which was a, a page long and answer questions hmm. about it. 